Hi guys, it's Ray, and I'm not gonna do this again. Damn it! Yeah, this is my much well, a week belated birthday um haul vlog doodle whatever because I meant to do it yesterday the weekend. I was trying to do it a minute ago and then at nine like nine and a half uh, minutes my computer decided to go. You know what? There was a problem. We disconnected you. <sighs> I hate the internet here. The root is evil. But yes, I shall rerun through all of this shit just for you, just again, because obviously my computer doesn't remember these things. Uh, first off, hair. Yes, it's different. It's short. It's dyed. Ah. Yeah, six inches went down the pan, and I redyed it because it was just it was gone really light, and the the, just the length was annoying me. It was getting knots all the time, and I don't like having a whole knot out of my hair. But yes, I'm going to have to run a lot faster through everything because I don't want to spend all year doing this again. Um, but yes, I didn't get that many physical presents this year because nobody knew what to get me. So I got sort of money and gift cardy things off relations. I have like Waterstones off Waterstones gift card off parents I'm going to spend tomorrow. So there'll be another vlog um, for that probably tomorrow or you know, probably Wednesday because by the time I get home tomorrow it'll be ridiculous and nasty and grumpy as hell. Um, and also awesome present that I got was I suspect Nargles are behind it's t shirt that um the lovely Jess of Just Hearts Books bought for me. And like and she also sent me a, a Wisconsin card which I purchased these two PHS with every day by Le uh, David Levithan and Maggie Steve Otter's The Dream Thieves, which is the second in her Ravens of Boys um cycle, saga, series, whichever word you want to use. Uh, so I got those because for because of reasons, yes, reasons. Um, I'm I'm grabbing presents randomly because I can't remember what order I did anything in. Uh, my sister got me Jungle Book and Fantasia on DVD because I always need more Disney DVDs to add my collection. I'm trying for the full lot, or at least all the ones I care about. So all the kind of weird in between ones, between like Snow White and Cinderella, those strange ones that I don't really care about. That's the first. And plus, I don't think Nick would get those at all without paying a fortune. Um, also, Ellie, uh, Miss Ellie of the Bakewell Town, um, sent me an Amazon voucher when had it sort of scheduled to arrive while she was on holiday. So I got it and I spent it. And I bought Holly Smales, uh, Geek Girl Model Misfit, which is the second in her Geek uh, Girl series. And I know um, um, blip, 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 Stevie of um, Sable Court has done a review, I think, just recently. So I might check a link for that for y'all, just for shiggles. Uh, I also got Untold by Sarah's Brennan because the feels, I need the feels in a bucket just dumped on me. Um, because Sarah's Brennan is so evil, why does she make us all cry? Um, carrying on. And I also got Season Storm by Lee Bardugo, which is the second in the Grisha um, series. And this series is kind of awesome. And Jess is quoted in here, so it's like... <laughs> I hear my best friend's quoted in the book. It's like so cool, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also, um, the boy um, gave me an awesome present, which he actually gave me. A, he wanted to give it to me about two weeks before my birthday, but I said, yeah, we need to like retain some kind of modicum of adulthood, and and give it to me a week before. So I had it a week before my birthday, and it is this glorious, glorious. Freaking handmade in the UK fountain pen biatches, and it's like this glorious sort of purple um, wood from America that's like covered in resin. And it's beautiful and it writes like a dream. And it's made by this guy um, who uh, makes pens in, in this little store in, in near Sherwood Forest, if y'all know what that is. Well, it's in Nottingham, that one's sort of short for us. I mean, Robin Hood, for Christ's sake. Um, but yes, it is Twist Pens. And he has a little shop in Not uh, Sherwood Forest, like a sort of crafty village thing. And it's amazing, and all the pens are beautiful. And it has a little stand as well. It's made of the same wood as the pen. It's got my name on it. And then, somewhat rudely, over the hill, it's like, it's 23, I'm not dead. I have two bubbles on the wrist, I've just realised. I've been going around with two bubbles. I think one's been in my hair all day. Um, but yes, this is the glorious pen, which will be used for correspondence. 
very soon. I will be writing correspondence and stuff. And yeah, that's that's all the other presents and the shizzles, I think. Yeah. But the final one that I'm gonna talk about and talk about real well, fast so my computer doesn't die on me, but at some end because Yeah Um, so back in April, many, many moons ago, I pre-ordered me a book that I've been waiting for like for years because just the space of time that in between all of her books, because the last book came out, her last book came out in, I think it was, um, 2012, October 2012, and it's like I thought this was going to be like May of that year, but it didn't happen, so that made me cry, um, but it came just a bit before my birthday, and the happy dance I did was ridiculous. I happy danced my way all around the lounge, and was literally a five-year-old at Christmas, and because it's battle magic! You may have seen me tweeting rather excitedly about this along the lines of fuck yeah battle magic and my Tumblr became very battle magic orientated for a bit. Um, for all that I don't really post much Tumblr, many Tumblr posts I just kind of read. Um, so yeah, excited. Ah, this is the like the third published in the sort of Circle Reforged books that deal with uh, Emelan peeps. Um, this is uh, Briar, Triss, Sandry, and Deja. Triss and Briar, my, my babies. I love those two so much. Um, but this deals with what happened in Yanjing. Basically, that should be like the subtitle, Battle Magic, or What Happened in Yanjing. Because basically, all through Will of the Empress, which is the first book that takes place about four years, like two to four years after all of the, cir the Circle Opens Quartet. After all, they've all gone away, had adventures, and then come back, and they're all a bit broken inside. This is all dealing with what happened in between um, Briar and Evie going from um, Street Magic to Will of the Empress. And this is all where all the shit went to hell. Everything went crazy. People got killed. Not everybody, just some people. But yeah, oh, this is so good. I mean, I, her total books, I think I do love even more, but I, I do have, have quite a soft spot for Briar and Triss. So, when the next book comes out about Triss going to Lightbridge, Lightsbridge, I will be dying for ages until that comes out, because that's not going to be coming out until, like, possibly next fall. Or it could get pushed back again, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I... I I'm living in fear of, of that just getting pushed back and pushed back until I die. Um, hopefully not. Please, Tammy, take mercy on us poor Brits who have to wait for it to be shipped from America. Um, but yes, tomorrow Pierce. Um, yeah. yeah, a bit too much in love. And she's literally, I have more books by her than I have any other author that I have in my library. That's how much sh stuff I have by her. And the cubs are pretty. So yeah, that's all like my birthday stuff, and after I've spent that um, that gift voucher, and I'll also show a book that I bought from Charity Shop and two library ones like on Wednesday or something, which we can't bother doing now because it's not really birthday related. This is technically my birthday present to myself. So yeah, and before my computer decides to die on me again, let's wrap this shit up, bitches, and I'm really sweary today, I'm sorry. It's just, after work, I just get very sweary and stuff because some of the kids just try to swear a lot. <laughs> but yes. See you guys soon.